guys, you know what else they do? When she's telling you she's going on a girl's night out, what she'll do is she'll meet up with her girls. They'll pay, They'll take pictures together or they'll do boomerangs or they'll put it on their snap story. But then she'll go and stay the whole night or stay part of the night with a whole nother man. Have a good day, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for this information. It's very, in, it's invaluable and shit. You know, it's worth all of a wooden nickel and shit. I would like to let you know and anybody else within the sound of my voice, but it's particularly young black men, young kings. You know, I'm talking about motherfuckers that's old enough to date and shit and, you know, going forward until they like up there in age. I'd like to let you know that, you know, it doesn't matter what the female does. It doesn't matter if she's pulling off some kind of secret mission to get some kooky peen and shit, you know, and she want to get dicked down by some other nigga and shit. It really does not matter, okay? And I'll tell you why and shit. Uh, the minute your girlfriend goes on a girl's night out, you know, in the back of your mind, you know she's going to go do some strange shit. They always, they always give you like little visual cues when they're going to do something fucked up. Either verbally or otherwise, you know. But visually, it'll be like some kind of like errant look or something. And don't concern yourself with that. Don't be performative. Just try to maintain uh, a nonchalant, innocuous uh, demeanor. And don't don't question her about shit. Just say okay and let her go. Because the minute she walks out of the door to go to her girl's night out, you know, with all her girls and shit. And I'm a leery of, I say be leery of any woman that has like a, gigantic friend circle that they go party together and do all this bullshit even if you meet them in that situation be leery okay this should never be your woman okay this is your sneaky link this is your uh you know unofficial uh, amateur sugar baby at that point if you want to if you're going to spend some money and when i say that it's like oh just you know taking her out to uh, a dinner or something you know and not even an expensive dinner like keep that shit off the table the american the american sister's uh peace leave is in the fucking red. Alright, so the minute she goes out with her girls for that girls' night out, they doing whatever bullshit, it's no concern of yours because she graduates down to just being a, a bust down. Okay? She's gonna be your bust down if you choose to do that and give her no explanation. And furthermore, uh if you're not using her name when you speak to her, use unisex terms. Okay? Use unisex terms like buddy, homie, dog. You know, some shit like that, whatever. Don't call her, you know, you can call her a bitch if you want to. It don't matter to me. You know, watch, keep your head on swivel if you do that. Because sisters are knock your fucking ass out. Anyway, you know, I want to just, you know, this advice is for young men. You know, when she goes on a girl's night and she knows she's doing something fucked up. And you know it too. Don't, don't bullshit around. Don't deny what you know in your heart. Even if you're insecure, it's better for you not to be together and put yourself through mental anguish and turmoil of what she might be doing and shit, you know, don't go through it, I know some dudes that done lost their shit and grabbed their woman and shit and threw, pulled up their dress and looked at their panties and seeing with a thong or something to freak out and shit, like, don't do that stuff, man, don't do that, don't give them any validation whatsoever, she's going out to get validation from somewhere else and shit, therefore, she's uh, downgrading herself to a sneaky link, you know, and don't say shit, don't give her no explanation and push her gradually, just, you know, shift her over out of your circle and shit. And just play it off and shit, you know? Don't act like she's your woman no more. Don't be calling her, okay? Let her call you. If she don't call you no more, she knows she fucked up. And that's a wrap. Everything's cool, okay? I'm doing this for your best interest so that you can maintain a, a healthy life balance and shit. And keep your inner personal, you know, your social circle. Keep it clean. You know, always do some housekeeping in that shit. Even with the, especially with women these days, they're out to, you know, scam and everything. And they really don't like you. They want your all your shit. They want a bag of goodies and shit. And they don't want to do nothing for that. They think just them breathing the same air as you is reward enough. You know, even if they're fucked up looking. All right? So the minute she goes out, you guys, I'm, we're going to go down the list now. When she goes, if she tells you she's going on the girls' night, you know, and she's acting weird, you just say, okay, all right, cool. And then she's going to keep asking you about it and shit because... In her mind, she knows she's doing something wrong and shit. And you just keep saying, hey, it's cool. Hey, don't worry. I trust you. But you don't trust her fucking ass, right? And then she's going to go out. 
just like this woman said in this little clip, she's going to send you some little pictures of her with her girl and everything. And I would advise you not even leave it on red. Leave it on red, right? And then you just act like, you know, you act like she was never your woman. All right, you push her to the periphery. And if you want to send some, ver you know, verbal, non, non verbal cues to what her status is, if she still wants to, you know, mess around with you, avoid kissing her on the mouth. Avoid kissing her on the mouth. And uh, when you have sex, make sure you put on two condoms. Two two condoms or more, you know. Make sure she's looking at you doing it, you know. So she know you know, all right. And then she's going to question you. And then, you know, she if she, you know, some women get pissed off that you don't want to go along with the program with the bullshit, you know. Some women will get really pissed off about that. And then somebody question you, right? And then you say, well, you know, I, I don't know if, uh, you know, I thought we were in a serious relationship, but I, you know, I guess I feel otherwise. I guess you feel otherwise, you know, it's no big deal. You know, now I'll, I'll turn around and bend over, you know, you're still in a position going into that headboard uh, repeatedly like a woodpecker. Fuck. So, you know, it's no big deal. I like, like to think this of uh, duplicitous sister and shit. Just spilling some uh, company secrets. Yeah. She's breaking the, the girl code, I guess. I don't know. Holes before bros. <laughs> hey, when, when she goes out, young guys, young brothers, when she goes out, she's doing that girl trip shit, a girl night out, all that crap. Hey, it's okay. Let her go. Let her go, man. And then she's your sneaky link now. Now you can look for a real relationship with a real woman that's going to respect you. You will know. You is you will know when a woman is in love with you, who's really into you. Not just into you, but she loves you and everything. And you guys are building a decent relationship. You will know, okay? All right. This anybody that's going out with a big group of friends to to the club and some shit. And she's going to be uh, uh, missing. For, she's going to be off the grid for an extended period of time during the evening. That's a sneaky link. That's not your woman, okay? And don't get mad about it, okay? The, the peace leaf here in the colonies has hit the red. It's like the stock market crash of the 1920s, man. Women have gone out of their ways to let us know that their vagina ain't worth shit, okay? It's about worth as much as a goddamn wooden nickel.